Uh, we changed some stuff defensively, minorly. Um, nothing major, but we started with a lockdown a little bit on the scout and got some reads and pick and roll situations much better off of the, um, but holding them to 12 was a pretty good effort. Um, but then offensively, clearly we got going. Uh, and it is an offense that when we're on, like it's really on, and when it's not, it's not. Clearly the biggest part obviously is making shots. Um, they had some uncharacteristic turnovers which were really punished. Um, before it was really open for us and when we're making threes from everywhere like that. As in most teams playing modern basketball, it's pretty tough to guard. First and foremost, Bendigo were great. A bit like us in the second quarter. Um, Bendigo essentially had that same quarter in the fourth. Um, they made everything. We clearly had some defensive breakdowns. Um, but usually you feel like your defensive breakdowns don't get punished as badly. Like we had, I think we had seven minor breakdowns. I think they scored on six of them. We had two major breakdowns. They scored on both of those as well. Um, you'd be hoping for much more of a 50-50 split on that. They just made everything, which was great. And clearly for us, we kind of got stuck in that between a rock and a hard place of, we play again on Sunday, we're up 20, do we rotate early? Do we try and slow down and just win the game? The faster we play like that second quarter, It'll, it'll turn into a 30 possession each kind of quarter, and that will give them the best chance of winning. So you kind of get it like slowing down. And then also, we just missed shots as well. Um, like, obviously, we had all those wide open threes in the corners we missed. We missed a wide open layup. We missed four free throws. Um, Mac Hoycart got everyone free cheeseburgers, which was great. We probably didn't help us at the time. And in all fairness, in fairness to like Bendigo, they were fantastic. Uh, yeah, the squad as a whole is fine. Um, Whitcomb is not. Uh, she twinged her back. Uh, we don't think it's major, but obviously that's why she sat off to start the fourth quarter against Bendigo. And the, th the theory was if that game is done, leave her off. Uh, as soon as it gets below 14, we'll summer back in. Unfortunately, we had to summer back in pretty quickly. Um, so she's now done. Um, it just hasn't responded as well as we thought. It's touch and go for Sunday, but erring on the side of caution, knowing we've also got another game Wednesday and another game Saturday, and it's, I think it's five games in 14 days. Um, it's probably better off to send her home now. Just it's one of those kind of injuries where we're just not sure how she's going to be when she wakes up Sunday. Um, like a, a, soft, a sore ankle, we've got a pretty good feeling how that would wake up feeling, but as a minor back issue, she could wake up fantastic and she could wake up really badly. And knowing it's such a short turnaround time and she's got to get on a plane, we figured probably better off just sending her home now, giving the team two days to prepare for Melbourne without her. Yeah, well, <clears throat> again, we're trying to take it, we've been saying for a while, um, the whole one game at a time, as boring as that is. Clearly from behind the scenes as a coaching staff and a you know, team management system, um, looking at, well, we've got five games in 14 days and clearly we need to win at least three of them and ideally four. When you're going on this road trip, we need to win at least two of them, well, obviously, which we've already done. And now, obviously, the Whitcomb um, injury throws a spanner into the works. So, not trying to get too far in front with Townsville. Clearly, we want to try and come out and beat Melbourne on uh, on Sunday, but also very aware that <clears throat> it's our first game in a week. Um, obviously, we've played three um, you know, in a short period of time as well. So, they'll be a little bit fresher than us, obviously. Um, so, we're clearly going to try and beat them, but maybe a little bit different way to normal. No, we've also got critical, critical games against Townsville on the Wednesday and Saturday following. So it's kind of a, <laughs> we want to beat Melbourne, but we don't, don't want to come in and get spanked twice against Townsville. We need to find a way of winning two of those three games. And what's the best way of doing that? And uh, that's always hard to do in real time. Obviously, it's easy to do next Sunday, next Saturday night after the Townsville game to say what's the best solution uh, in hindsight, but obviously we've got to live it in real time. So try and beat Melbourne, um, try and rotate a little bit harder than normal, and then throw every single thing we've got in two Townsville games.